All right, my boys. Today we're getting in there with Aliens. This is definitely going to be a blast from the past. I haven't played Aliens in a really long time, so I'm looking forward to getting in there with this deck. And I got a pretty defensive balance strategy. I'm not sure what the changes were that kind of happened with balance. Um, I know that they did something on to it, or maybe they were going to do something to it. I don't remember. But... Um, this is very much like a turtling strategy kind of deck where I'm basically uh, waiting for my opponent to do something, as you can see here, um, and then we respond to it. Um, I really like it a lot. <laughs> it's got a lot of interesting uh, little plays in it, so um, definitely can be uh, fun for sure. All right, so let's see. Two blue eyes, sure. Ultimate Dwagons, sure. Show me two blue eyes. Activate Polly. Are you fusing three blue eyes? He fused three blue eyes. All right. We got to read this thing. So this car is going to get fucked over. <laughs> it's okay. It's a battle phase. I'm going to use a sale recombination. We're going to put four. Uh, eight counters on this beast. Then we're gonna use uh, Brainwash Beam. Uh, give him here. I'll take him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kaiba. Thank you. He's like, whoa. <laughs> now it's time to finish him up real nice. All right, so first we're gonna summon the alien Ammonite. We're gonna bring back our alien telepath. Oh yeah, you know what you know what's up. <laughs> yes! That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. I mean, think about it. A cell recombination puts telepath in the graveyard. Ammonite brings him back, pop a back row, synchro, pop a monster attack for game. Exceeds with whatever else you got left or a special summon your uh, big boss alien. Is this just blue eyes white beat stick day? I mean, apparently that's just all that's gonna be popping up. You know, as long as I can keep going, well, damn, honestly with this hand, I would have loved to go first. Uh, but against blue eyes, this is a really bad hand because, you know, going second, I mean, it isn't all that great, but we do get alien dog and alien dog places two counters and we do play three brainwash beams, so. Uh, we might be able to take something nice. Oh, but oh, oh, well, this, this entire deck just turned around. Uh, this entire game just turned around. So we're going to, uh, out cosmic cycle on mystical space typhoon. <laughs> this man scoops the MSD. <laughs> Set Delta Axel. All right. Back at it again with this same, same old song and dance. But I'm ready for him because this is the worst card that he could possibly imagine. Alien Kid is about to wreck his shit. So basically, Alien Kid says anytime your opponent special summons a monster, they get an A counter. How this man special summons, he, he can't avoid this effect. Unless he got Book of Moon, then, then that would make me really sad. But we do got Bad Aim, and Bad Aim is actually pretty spicy too. Aliens are really good because they can really get into your opponent's strategies in weird ways throw off the math by using a counters uh throw off the uh opponent by you know playing random cards that just kind of seem seemingly don't don't mix but what is interesting he's using a tg so and he's just exposed that this is traditional tg so every time he does something i'm going to be able to smack it with a little counter action which is going to be great well, except for normal sun. I can't do anything about a normal sun. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> he milled a floodgate and a lance. Good. Good. That's what I like to see. No monsters. Good. Good. Floodgate and lance. Come over here and attack me. If you dare. You maniac. If you're going to attack me, <laughs> you're crazy. You're crazy. You're you're actually swinging on me, boy. Here, have have some. Hey, let me get your let me get your cells recombinated, my boy. Let me go ahead and recombinate them cells real quick. All right. <laughs> okay. Dado. 
<laughs> Let me recombinate them cells in the back row, my boy. Go ahead and activate it so I can change my uh, my bad aim. Do it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're about to get run over by aliens. Oh, the fiendish chain. Well, you'll wish you had it when I summoned my alien Ammonite. And from my graveyard, I can bring back my alien telepath. All right, so let's go ahead and hit up the synchro summon. Come forth, my beast. Alien Ammonite. Level one tuna. Alien telepath. Level four, synchro summon. Cosmic Fortress. Go. That's probably how it sounds, I'm pretty sure. And then uh, we're gonna hit this because you know, we still can hit it for the turn. And we're gonna go grab one more of these because it's gonna be useful if he survives. <laughs> Aliens, my boy. <laughs> Check them out. Yeah, so real quick, I had to, real quick, I had to go in and make a quick change because I took a random nasty L, a nasty L, because I bricked on two brainwashed beams. And basically I had one brainwashed beam the whole game, drew into a second brainwashed beam, and then with both brainwashed beams, I end up losing, even though I end up using a brainwashed beam. So lesson learned, only play one brainwashed beam if you're gonna play brainwashed beam at all. But uh, yeah. Now we're gonna play some Anamana play. So this is, isn't is like the best matchup here. Cause he's got Gaga Ga Bolt, he's got all that other crap. So this isn't like the best deck I wanna play against, right? Uh, depending on how he starts, you know, could cause a problem for your boy. So we're gonna see. Gaga Ga Wind. Got the wind. All right. Cool. All right. Ga ga ga. Jackson's on the field. Or maybe that's more like Gaga Ga Prince. <laughs> Bruh. XE summon. All right. Photon strike bouncer. Plus up. Of the head ass, I think. I forget why he draws, but I think it's head ass. Dunno. I think head ass is the reason why he gets plus stuff. Um. Yeah, that's gonna be good. So I'm gonna set one card face down. I'm gonna summon a monster in attack position. I'm gonna set an additional card face down. Why am I doing it like this? I don't know, so maybe he thinks that that card is A-Cell Recombination if he has Cosmic Cyclone or something on board. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Damn it! <laughs> damn it, dog! <laughs> God damn it, dog! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you wasn't supposed to do that! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> you was not supposed to do that. You was not supposed to do that. Fuck. Yeah, well, I and mean, this is fine. I'm not worried about this because, you know, we're gonna put eight counters on him. He's gonna exceed. He's gonna put eight counters on the next guy. He's gonna attack into it and kill it. Then I'm gonna hit powerful rebirth and bring him back, and then also I'm gonna drop Veil off the second attack, so I'm not too worried about it. And then I'll have fours on the field, then I can go into Xyz, and I can bait his move, and blah, blah, blah. But this is pretty, pretty funny. This is pretty funny, because I said it all weird, so he would think that this was a cell recombination, but <laughs> he was like, I'm just gonna hit the first one you said, which honestly, yeah, sometimes, Hitting the first one you said is always the best bet, but I always hit the place a second one because when you place the second one out, for some reason people be like, oh, the second one must be that really good card that they were like 
gonna hold like it's a treacherous right but you don't want to place treacherous on the first turn because you know your opponent plays cosmic so you want to wait and that's kind of you know the reason why i did but he still got me anyway which which sucks and we're gonna go ahead and use veil on that ass boy all right Dodo. Another ACL recombo. So that's actually pretty good. We're not gonna tell him that though. Alright, we're gonna summon a monster. We're gonna activate Alien Ammonite's effect. We're gonna bring back Alien Kid. But this time, we're gonna exceed. I mean, but he could negate it. I mean, he definitely could negate it. Treacherous trap, you scumbag! Wow. Treacherous trap hole. Wow. Okay. Nice rip, sir. Nice rip. Uh, let me see. You see six, 12, 18. Oh yeah, that'd be good. I can set one face down and I'm gonna have to uh, pass turn. <sighs> Monster dies at end turn, so don't want to reveal my back row. He could play Cosmic still or something like that, which would not be good. I do have Mirror Force in the deck now, but, you know, is he going to be the guy like, I'm going to keep my guy in defense position because I'm afraid of Mirror Force. I mean, of course, you run into those guys as soon as you start playing Mirror Force. Um, we're going to go ahead and activate powerful rebirth and bring back the kid kid and now will you continue uh, he attacks I'm gonna pop this I'm gonna put it on you he's gonna be going down uh, three he's got to go down three six uh, nine twelve so he's got to go down by at least four hundred and we've got the job. I mean, not 400. He's got to go down by at least uh, uh, 300 times four, elite level four. So I'm going to put this out. See ya. All right. So we got the main problem off the board. And now we're going to have our effects and everything. And we drew the right monster. All right. So let's take a look at what we got here. We're going to first banish. Uh... We're going to summon. Oh yeah, we can definitely win the game. All right, we're gonna grab this monster. We're going to summon a monster. Oh, you know what? Oh yeah, yeah, we got this, we got this. We're gonna summon a monster. We're going to bring back our beast. We're gonna hit up the synchro. Almost, I, like, I almost messed that up. I realized he's level five and not a four. I was like, but no, we still got it. Uh, we're gonna summon the Goul. We're gonna activate the effect. We're gonna pick up our face up cards, like powerful rebirth, add to the hand to place counters on things. So we're gonna go ahead and place one on you. And now he has two counters on him. So we're gonna go ahead and special summon uh, our boy. And then we're gonna activate his effect and put a counter on it um, and that's gonna lower him down we're gonna set a card face down and uh, we're not gonna be able to kill him but uh, this is pretty much game <laughs> so let's just go ahead and just get this man up out of here so we're gonna go ahead and attack this with 22 of those things get out of here 16 of those things okay <laughs> now I was thinking he was gonna uh, use his effect because he did have a utopic counter or, or whatever but he didn't use it so ripperino bean burrito all right my boys this is the alien exceeds deck using the king of the feral imps as one of its new centerpieces it's not the best card but it does work out in this deck you can let me know what you think about it in the comment section below but as always my boys keep it dank